Today, I have five tips for you for choosing the right personal injury attorney for you. Tip number one, look at the potential attorney's experience and specialization. Make sure that no matter how long they've been an attorney, that they have been practicing in the area of law that you need and that they've been practicing in the geographical region that is relevant for your case. I've been practicing for 20 years, personal injury work, state of Nevada. Second tip, look at their track record and their reputation. You want to make sure that that experience translates to results and that they're respected in the community. Typically, you can find the results of relevant cases on their website, or you can ask for a list of past cases and results in order to see whether or not that their experience does translate into those results. And the reputation can often be found online through uh, peer review uh, websites such as uh, LexisNexis, Avvo, and the like. Third, you want to make sure, and this is pe perhaps the most important factor, that they have good communication skills. Not only when they're in the room with you when you're meeting them the first time, but ask questions about how the firm communicates with the client, whether it's a staff member, a lawyer, or both, and how they do that. So at Battleborn, we can communicate through text, through email, through telephone, and I tell my staff to mirror the way in which the client communicates with them. Meaning if you text our office, you're going to get a text back. If you email our office, you get an email back. And if you want a phone call, you either call in or simply ask for it. You want to also, and this is tip number four, consider the resources of the firm. If you have a big complex case, you need to know that the firm has enough resources behind it. That means staff members, attorneys, and the ability to cover the overhead of the case. If the case is going to be expensive to litigate through experts and the like, the attorney needs to front all of those costs. You need to ask them how are they going to fund the case and if they're going to take out loans in order to do that. If they are, they're much more likely to try to chase an early lower settlement than to stick it out all the way through and get you the top dollar for your case. And lastly, you want to ask about the fee structure. Are they working on a contingency fee basis? And how much is that contingency fee? It's a percentage of the case. Is it one third? Is it 40%? Is it 50%? And does that fee include the cost associated with it?